Let's take a look how to make some letters made out of noodles here in Illustrator. And let's select the circle, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, create a circle. I'm going to press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. Or you can go to edit, paste in front. This is going to paste another copy on the top. I'm going to select the top circle, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, scale it down, select both circles. Let's go to object blend and make we're gonna go and double click on the blend tool here let's select the specify steps and increase the number i'm gonna make it nice and dense somewhere around seven six six is good click ok i'm gonna go to object expand click ok now we're gonna need to create a couple of versions from this so we got the circle and i'm gonna press and hold alt drag it to the right and I'm going to select the direct selection tool and I'm going to select a quarter of the circle. So basically I selected these lines and I'm going to press on delete and I'm going to duplicate it again. And now I'm going to make only half of it and I'm going to do another one. And this one is going to be just a quarter. And another thing we're going to need is straight lines. So I'm going to select this line tool and I'm going to go here and I'm going to drag it. Also press shift and I'm going to select the line, press and hold alt, make sure to intersect with this circle right here. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to select all the straight lines, right click group. So these are going to be the elements that eventually is going to create the letters. So for example, I'm going to start with the letter P. For the letter P, I'm going to need this circle and I'm going to press and hold shift, rotate it. And I'm going to select the straight lines, create a new copy. And I'm going to press and hold shift, rotate 90 degrees. And I'm going to position it right here and connect them together. And you also can adjust the height of the letter P, but I think this is pretty good. So basically it's like a Lego. It is really fun to play with. So I'm going to select this again. And we're going to make the letter A this time. And I'm going to select these lines, press and hold Alt, create a duplicate. And I'm going to bring it here. So now we've got the PA and I'm going to select this half circle for it. And again, select these straight lines and create another copy. I'm going to select these straight lines and I'm going to press and hold Alt, create a duplicate right here. I'm going to right click on group and from here, I'm going to select the anchor points and just put them where they belong. Great. Now it looks like a chimney or something. Now we're going to go to the interesting part, which is the letter T. For this case, I'm going to select the letter P, press and hold Alt, create a duplicate. I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to reflect it. Right click, transform, reflect. Make sure to reflect it vertically and click OK and put it somewhere here. And the top part is good and I'm going to need to delete this area right here, press on delete. This actually looks like a J. So I'm going to delete these areas as well. And I'm going to need some straight lines, press and hold shift to rotate, position it. There you go. And shorten it as well. Something like this. And I'm going to put it here and I'm going to select these again. And I also going to delete one of these lines, so just duplicate it to make it longer. So it starts to look pretty good. So now I'm going to need to make the letter E. So I'm going to select the letter A, press and hold Alt, and I'm going to press and hold Shift to rotate. And I'm going to reflect it, transform, reflect, vertical, click OK. So this is going to be the letter E because it doesn't have enough space in order to make this bend inside and still have a hole in there. This is going to be like an abstract letter E. And now at least we're going to make a letter R. So I'm going to select the letter T, press and hold Alt, drag it, right click, transform, reflect, vertical, click OK, press and hold Shift, rotate it upside down. I'm going to need to make this more shorter. And I'm going to select the lines, bring it in. Beautiful. And this is how you make this really cool noodle text here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.